Hey pre-med, in this video we're going to go through a very commonly asked MCAT question which is how much content review should I do versus active practice? And different MCAT experts have different opinions on this, so I'm just going to give you my personal take of how I arrange my MCAT students' plan and schedule based on content review versus active practice. The first thing I always do is I never want my program at any point to be only content review or only active practice. It is very important to do both aspects of your prep. It's important to re-review and learn content. It's also important to make sure we're applying that content and working on test day strategies that have nothing to do with content, like the car section. So the first thing I do is I take the entire time that a student is studying, let's say six months, and divide that into thirds, so two month chunks. For the first third, what we'll do is take a practice exam to figure out what content is weak versus strong, what skills are weak versus strong. And once we've made that decision, those first two months, 70% of the time is spent doing content review. So if that student's studying 10 hours a week, seven of those hours per week are on content review in their high priority, high difficulty topics. I'm not having them go chronologically through a book. We're instead going for only the things that are the weakest or scariest for that student. The remaining 30% of the time is on active practice on topics that they feel better about but just need to apply and or CARS practice and practice exams. So that 30% of the time is spent doing active practice on things that feel more comfortable for that student and the CARS section, which really you can only improve through active practice. And then those 70% of hours are spent on the content review, whether watching videos or books, whatever modality works for that student. In the middle two months, we go down to 50-50. So we take another practice exam, of course, we take six total in the program, so at least another practice exam. And then based on that practice exam, we now have our time split 50-50. So 50% of our time is spent reviewing or re-reviewing difficult high yield content that came up as challenge areas in the practice exam. And then 50% of our time is spent applying those concepts to practice problems in all of your categories high difficulty, medium difficulty, and low difficulty, because now we want to start to put the pieces together of our strategy. So 50-50, so five hours of content review, five hours of active practice if you're spending 10 hours a week studying. The last third, the last two months before test day, we of course take another practice exam, assess priorities, strengths, and weaknesses, and now we flip it. So now we're spending only 30% of your time doing content review and 70% of your time doing active practice. Again, that's weekly practice exams, timed practice sets, at least 30 to 40 minutes to build that endurance, and trying to apply test day strategies and skills to our work. The 30% of content review is now reinforcing tricky concepts, memorizing things like metabolism structures and pathways, right? getting those last pieces of content really locked down before test day. So that is my personal strategy, is breaking into thirds 70-30, 50-50, 30, 70. I hope that helps you if you're struggling to come up with a test day plan or strategy for studying for the MCAT. If you need additional support, I do have a how to take an MCAT practice exam and review it a mini course that's free and available. It's linked below. And please hit subscribe to this channel as I'm going to be continuing to post videos about helping you with your MCAT prep. So best of luck and happy studying.